This is WENY News. Hello and thanks so much for clicking on the webcast. I'm Ross DiMatte. Here's the latest now from WENY News and the Star Gazette. A Tioga County man with Alzheimer's is home safe with his family after he was reported missing earlier this week. State police in Owego say 78 year old William Caloroso has been found safely in Scranton. State police uh, originally said someone called in a tip after they thought they saw him in Ohio. Caloroso's family reported him missing after he was last seen on Sunday night. We're learning more about the Ithaca mayor's plan to get rid of discolored water in the city. Ithaca Mayor Savante Myrick is updating the progress of the water treatment in Ithaca on his Facebook page. He says the city has been flushing the distribution system through the fire hydrants and they'll continue to flush the brown water out. On Monday, they adjusted treatment levels and locations at the plant. And then yesterday, the city put another pre-treatment point online at the reservoir. New York's attorney general is suing an Endicott woman for allegedly raising money for a Binghamton man who drowned and then pocketing the money. Our media partner, the Star Gazette, got a copy of Attorney General Eric Schneiderman's lawsuit. It alleges Megan Terry never turned over nearly $1,300 to the family of Colin Murray, the 22-year-old who drowned after jumping into the Erie Canal in May of 2015. Terry started this GoFundMe page that raised more than $2,500 in donations. But Schneiderman says she only gave about half the money to Colin Mur Murray's family and then kept the other half for herself. Schneiderman is suing to get back the money Terry allegedly kept, plus $2,000 in fines. If you're driving through the city of Elmira today, you should expect some delays. That's because the city will begin working on the West Water Street reconstruction project. Only one lane will be open on Water Street from Hoffman to Walnut Street. And West Water from Gwinnett to Hoffman, which is a one-way, will be reduced to just one lane. This reconstruction project includes sidewalks, so those will be closed at times as well. The project is expected to be completed this fall. The Southern Tier Bicycle League and Elmira Police Department are hosting a bike safety demonstration and bike helmet giveaway today. It starts at noon at Katie Leary Park on Elmira's south side, and kids who don't have a helmet can get one for free. But it's a first-come, first-served basis, and helmets are limited. And kids who don't have a bike can enter a raffle to win one. Plus, the Food Bank of the Southern Tier will be serving free lunch to anyone 18 years old or younger between 1145 and 1245. And now here is Craig Flint with a look at today's forecast. Hey there, Craig. Hey there, Ross. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Partly sunny. It will be hot and humid today. And now there's the chance for a late afternoon or evening shower or storm. 92, but, you know, once you get into those peak heating hours in the afternoon, so like 3, 4, 5 o'clock, it's, it's going to feel like 94, 95, 96 degrees. This evening, the chance for a storm, hit or miss type. And then warm and sticky overnight. Notice the low temperature not dropping below 70, so you might as well be in South Florida. Your forecast over the northern tier. A couple of random showers or storms trying to bubble up this afternoon. High temperatures here will make it into the upper 80s, low 90s. I think about 91, 92 for Elmira, Corning, near 90 in Bath. With a late afternoon shower storm, 90 in Owego. And then over the Finger Lakes, showers scattered hit or miss type showers and storms over the Finger Lakes uh, later today. Uh, again, they're going to be few and far between. Hazy, hot and humid temperatures in the uh, upper 80s to near 90. Kind of a big picture for you. Seven day forecast. So low 90s today. Hazy, hot and humid weather Thursday. Showers and storms. A few feisty storms Thursday afternoon 91. Turning breezy and less humid by later Friday. Chance for a storm, 87. Comfortable humidity Saturday. Sunshine, 82. Mostly sunny Sunday, a high of 86. So uh, maybe a random storm Friday evening for launch of the lakes. But the wine festival up at the track this weekend should be good. A little warm, though, with all the blacktop. Gets hot again by Monday. Late day shower storm, 85 to 90. Partly to mostly sunny Tuesday the high of 86. Ross. And with an overnight low of just 70 degrees tonight, if you have an air conditioner, you're probably going to want to leave it on. Thank you, Craig. For the latest news, weather and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at 536 and 11 o'clock tonight. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Ross DiMatteo. Have a great Wednesday.